one thing you could do is just ask them. Now, we've covered Acts 16, 30, 31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Just ask them simply. What do you teach is necessary to be saved? It should reflect Acts 16, 30. Have you got your Bible with you? Okay, let's turn to the verses that he's talking about. Acts chapter 16, verse 30. And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Verse 31. So they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. Oh, wait, wait a minute. There's more here. Verse 32. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. Oh, yeah. Well, you're denying that it's believe on the Lord Jesus. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. Well, I've spoke with 30 seminarians and they all. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. Oh, well, at this point, you're just denying that salvation is by grace alone, through faith alone in Christ. I could do this all day. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. Satan has you deceived. You preaching that false God. Satan put the verse after your precious proof text in the Bible? Isn't the Holy Spirit the author of this Bible? Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. While we're on the subject, in the very next chapter, Acts 17, Paul preaches on repentance. It says that repentance is now available to all people. So uh, I think, uh, yeah. That's wild, I'm done.